Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read. This is going to be for Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. As always, uh, as we move forward with the reading, keep in mind this is general for the day for all 12 signs. So you know what to do. Just take what resonates. But let's do some shuffling and see what we get from the animal tarot. What do we have for Tuesday? Okay, coming up the hermit. I feel as if even if it's a day where you're working with uh, a person or multiple people or you're surrounded by people um, in an environment that involves a crowd or just several people, it sends a very to oneself kind of vibe, feeling inclined to just uh, keep the day simplistic in that sense. But I feel like people are also viewing you as quite a strong uh, individual in their independence, right? A very Nine of Pentacles vibe coming through now. Um, but I feel like you're also being admired for, um, okay, for your guidance is what I'm hearing, for your good looks. I feel like it's a day where you're even admiring oneself. Um, I sense that, again, your confidence is coming into play in regards to, for some, your intuition, in regards to the work you produce and develop, what you accomplish throughout the day, who you have to or choose to bond with in a very selective manner. But I also feel like the words that you speak specifically coming into play in a very confident manner, all right? Uh, but the Five of Pentacles, because for a lot of times of the reading, there's a focus on a sense of lack. This could be money for some. This could be more so in regards to a lack of love in your life at times or fully. It could be a lack of uh, anything for that matter. But those two coming out specifically for a reason. But I also feel like there's a reminder what kind of energy or energies uh, for some you don't fit in with or you don't easily bond with. If you're empathic like myself, there's a sense of you being reminded if someone's extra nervous, if somebody's, uh, I want to say awkward or just, uh, uh, they're saying cruel in nature, it's not going to, it's not going to vibe with you well, or you're not going to vibe with them well. Does that make sense? There's a feeling that however um, it comes to be for you, through reminders uh, of how energy affects you specifically, or just the type of people uh, that you're surrounded by, um, yeah, again, who and what isn't meant for you, but specifically people, all right? I feel like that was horrible jumbled wording. But the Seven of Pentacles, because it feels like a lot drawn to the reading aren't in the mood to do whatever's at hand, but you just do it. But there's a sense of staying focused all the meanwhile. I'm hearing steer clear, steer clear. And I feel like you just kind of need to shake it off at a certain point if you're feeling a bit uptight, feeling a bit nervous, or just feeling um, concerned for some. Well, there's a sense of you protecting or just watching, um, guarding uh, what you've been working towards or what's yours. I know for me that's going to represent my channel, but for you it could be one in a million things, right? Um, but I feel like it's just a day where things might rub you the wrong way, right? Thing, It's like you want something to be more simplistic than it is. You want something to be uh, yeah, less complicated, right? And it feels like even if something can be viewed and accomplished in a simplistic manner, somebody else might be explaining it in a complicated way or just wanting you to get it done or approach it in a complicated manner. But I also feel like there's a sense of you as an individual wanting to sort of rework something or redesign something, however that comes to be. Um, I Again, I know how that's going to come to be for me. But there's also, a, to switch the topic, a focus on your North Star, your um, North, North Node placement, excuse me, in your chart. Um, and that tying into the guidance on multiple levels that you're receiving and have been recently, and as well your life purpose, all right, and your future altogether. But I feel like Spirit's saying there's something you're potentially wrapped up with throughout this day. It's not a long-term gig or a long-term situation. So keep that in mind to keep your perspective healthy because it's going to be easy to kind of uh, allow something to feel larger in your mind or just more long-term in your mind than it actually is, right? Being so wrapped up with it or just being so, they're saying engulfed in it, okay? We have the Six of Wands. But through the work you produce, develop what you accomplish throughout the day, again, your individuality, your confidence, there's rewards right there's attention there's a sense of victory and spirit saying you deserve this and don't allow for 
the details are just overcomplicating the frustrations, the bad energy at times to, um, to take away from uh, the rewarding feeling you deserve to be one with when it comes to the attention and the victory and the success all the meanwhile, right? Um, and there's a sense of with that peacock being on the six of wands, you needing to remember how they're saying beautiful your feathers are, right? How talented and good looking you are all the meanwhile. And so don't be surprised if there are moments where you're pushed to stop and admire one's looks in the mirror or review one's work, uh, however it comes to be for you, or just think about an accomplishment or multiple throughout this day or previously to keep one's worth and value in mind, right? Or just to remember it, um, but also just to uh, remember how good you are, right? And good looking you are to keep oneself quite confident and to either re-raise that vibration or just keep it uh, way up there, okay? To remember that you are in the driver's seat in that sense and you control in multiple ways, but in this sense, they're saying by just uh, keeping one's vibration high and just your confidence high so that you don't allow for outside factors to be more in control, right? To get the best of you or just to um, ruin the rest of your day, right? Um, in moving forward, there's a feeling that with through those reminders that you are in control in that sense you just will thrive more than you even would expect especially after a moment of frustration or just again over complication or um they're saying disappointment for some the tower card as well as the king of cups so we won't take the tower card but spirit's saying again we're reminding you something does have an end point so keep that in mind this could be more than one situation for you but it feels like there's one in particular a future ending even if it's years down the line that's being highlighted so keep things in perspective once again but i also feel like you're thinking about a past ending and you can't second guess that right especially if it was your choice to leave it behind and you can't second guess how it, it came to be or just uh, came to an end it happened that way for a reason trust it um and remember that everything's shifting as it should even if it doesn't fully feel like it at times uh, but the King of Cups, because I do feel like in, it's a day where it feels a bit uh, difficult or just feels like a delicate balancing act. If you look at that imagery um, with the energy and just all you're accomplishing, everything at hand. <clears throat> Bear with me as I'm losing my breath. But naturally at the bottom of the deck to take the Seven of Wands, it just feels like it's a day where you have to protect your energy, protect what you're wishing to accomplish. And again, needing to just allow for oneself to discard what feels negative or just unhealthy um, to the best of your ability and or move past it, right? Shake it off once again and keep oneself, um, they're saying to oneself and allow for your, again, energy to be feeling healthy as much as possible, vibration high, confidence uh, at its all-time high and just do what you have to do when you have to do it, right? And don't question oneself in any way, shape, or form. That's coming through for a reason. But to be honest, some of you might, due to the, the effect of energy or just somebody you're wrapped up with or just a, an occurrence, might wanna, they're saying, curl up and just uh, remove oneself from that situation, at least temporarily, uh, or what's at hand. But there's a sense of you growing and, uh, improving oneself or just uh, learning through that experience or just that moment or several so just keep that in mind when that comes to be i know for me it's going to be the effect of uh, the energy probably at my new job but however it works for you um spirit's saying that this is a day where it feels like a lot's coming towards you could even be spiritual for some um and it, with the different levels of you needing to just kind of cope and accomplish and uh, overcome at certain points and protect oneself and even guard what you've been working on it's going to feel like a bit of an overwhelming day but all the meanwhile there's a need to again recognize and appreciate the abundance the victory all the meanwhile with that six of wands but the magical vibes about the day at certain points i'm hearing you're appreciated and you will get that reminder i feel like more than once throughout this day potentially involving more than one, stemming from more than one situation. So again, it's a day, it's a Tuesday, where you just need to take a deep breath, do what you gotta do when you need to do it. Again, acknowledge everything that's working out in your favor and just cope, overcome with ease 
and just shake it off all the meanwhile, all right? It's a day to shine, um, they're saying in your glory, all right? In your glory. And you will feel quite accomplished by the end of this Tuesday, but it, it doesn't come without certain obstacles and some slight annoyances and um, challenges all the meanwhile. I just saw 1010 on the timestamp. With that said and done, I hope this was truly helpful. Go enjoy your Tuesday and I'll see you next time.